Today, we will be learning about colons and semicolons, a grammar tool. Today, we will be applying colons and semicolons into writing. We will learn examples of colons and semicolons and when different types of colons and semicolons are used. First, we have colons for a list of items. Colons introduce a series of items or a list. You should not use a colon when the series of items are already incorporated into the sentence or right after the main verb in the sentence. Example, Joe is skilled in two areas, colon, woodwork and economics. This is an example of what not to do. Joe is skilled in, colon, woodwork and economics. In order to complete the sentence, we would get rid of the colon actually because the colon should not come after the main verb. Colons for independent clauses. Colons separate two independent clauses, especially when the second clause or the following clause illustrates and adds information to the first clause. If two or more sentences, clauses, follow the colon, capitalize the first word of each clause. Example, a staggering number of individuals suffer from diseases as a result of obesity. These diseases can decrease the lifespan and cause health issues. When we use a colon, we give the same weight to both of the clauses and the second clause, as we can see, illustrates the first clause Colons for emphasis. To emphasize a certain keyword, phrase, theme, or point, a colon is used. People also use an M dash in writing too, but a colon also works. Example, doctors struggle to contain one of the world's most largest health issues, obesity. And we put the colon right before obesity because we want to highlight this word obesity and the importance of this word. Colons for quotations. We use colons so we can lead a quote without actually using words such as he said, she asked. For example, we usually put the colon right before the quote and then we put the quote right after the colon. Colons for non-grammatical purposes. These are colons for time, math, and Bible verses. So first we can use it to separate in hours from minutes. There's no space between the colon. The hour comes first and the minutes comes right after the colon. In Bible verses, the colon will separate the chapter from the verse. Again, there is no space between the colon. A colon is also used in ratio, which is a mathematical aspect. This colon is used in math, and the colon is placed between two numbers to illustrate this ratio. It can also be another way to write a fraction. Again, there's no space in between the numbers. Colons can be for correspondence or business letters. This colon is used for addressing an individual, giving a letter, writing a recommendation. For example, we have Dear Mr. Jones. And we have the colon right after the Mr. Jones. And this is the beginning of a letter. Now we have the side note, PS, with a colon right after the PS with the note, buy me a pizza. Now we're going to move on to the semicolons for independent clauses. These semicolons link two independent clauses, which means they stand by themselves that are closely related. Both of these independent clauses should have equal weight. For example, Shelia writes with a pen, Tom writes with a pencil. Now when we use a semicolon, we give both of these phrases an equal weight. So we know Shelia likes to write with a pen and Tom likes to write with a pencil. Now semicolons, like colons, can also be used in a list. Semicolons are used with a series of items, especially if the series of items includes commas. So the semicolons separate each item in the series. 
For example, there are two main flavors of ice cream. We have chocolate ice cream, comma, which is chocolatey and creamy. Now we have a semicolon to separate it from the other type. Or vanilla ice cream, comma, which is classic and simple. So as we can see, the semicolon separates the series of items. Semicolons can also be used for coordinating conjunctions. Independent clauses that are joined with a coordinating conjunction, also known as a fanboy, which we will go into depth later, use semicolon. This is especially true if the sentence is already long and has a lot of commas. When we use a semicolon here, it will make the sentence structure more interesting. For example, some people spend their money on experiences, ideas, and travels, semicolon, but others, comma, for another reason, spend their money on material items. As we can see, the semicolon comes right before the coordinating conjunction. So these are examples of the coordinating conjunction. We have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Memorizing these coordinating conjunctions not only helps with colons, but it also helps with commas and general English grammar. Now we will talk about a transitional phrase for semicolons. Semicolons are used in between transitional phrases such as, example, as a result. Now we will go more into transitional phrases after, but first let's talk about semicolons in transitional phrases. For, for example, a semicolon is used right before the transitional phrase, while the comma is used after the transitional phrase. Thomas wanted to buy a video game, semicolon, however, comma, he did not have enough money. It is important to use the semicolon and the comma. Remember, the semicolon comes before the transitional phrase. The comma comes after the, tr the transitional phrase. Now let's go over some examples of transitional phrases as there are a lot of them. For emphasis, for example, we have undoubtedly, unquestionably, obviously, and this is to put weight on the words. In addition, when we want to add another phrase or another clause to explain something we have, as well as besides in addition, for contrast, when we explain a clause and compare it with another clause, we have unlike, on the other hand, nevertheless. And if we want to explain things in order, we have the following, previously, at this time. As we can see, there are many examples of transitional phrases. Now let's compare colons and semicolons. Let's explain the physical differences. A colon is just two dots on top of each other, like two periods on top of each other. The semicolon is just a period on top of a comma. And while they look similar, the semicolon has the comma at the bottom and the colon has the period at the bottom. We use colons for when we introduce things and when we wanna introduce dependent causes and illustrate. We use semicolons for separate sentences. And we also link sentences with a transitional phrase, such as, however, therefore. Now, can you fix these sentences? All of these sentences will either require the use of a colon or a semicolon. To give a hint, most of these require colons, but there are two that require semicolons. Now, let's go over the answers. Mitchell arrived on the doll at free colon PM. We went over that when we explained the colons. Cooper screamed, now we have a quote, there's a spider. So the semi, the, I mean the colon will come right after the verb. The bookstore contains three different types of genres, colon, fiction, mystery, and science. And we went over that when we described a series of items. After talking over with Toby, the principal agreed on a final decision. 
semicolon, I mean colon, suspension for emphasis. Six different types of cookies, ginormous cakes, cascading chocolate fountains, and fluffy cheesecakes. Colon, this is the best bakery. And that again is for emphasis. Now we're using a semicolon. The team made too many mistakes. Semicolon, the team lost the game. I deleted social media from my phone, semicolon, therefore, comma, I was able to be more productive. This is again the use of a transitional phrase. Timothy smiled at her, semicolon, she blessed at his re reaction. Can we use the semicolon here also for the two independent clauses? Now we have another quote. Albert Einstein once stated, once you stop learning, you start dying, and this is a quote, so we would use a colon here. Now we have the last one. Bethany computed the ratio eight colon nine, and this is the use of the math aspect of the colon. Here is more colon semicolon practice, especially because these two are so similar, it is easy to get them confused. Thank you.